Peggy 18. One of the first, very first idea that we had was to oppose uh, one player with a gamepad and one other player with the uh, game pro controller. We really wanted to, to have this asymmetric gameplay and actually that's the very first ID that made us believe in a Wii U. The core of uh, the experience that we wanted to provide was asymmetric multiplayer. What asymmetric means is that the two players are playing two completely different games. One of them is a classic uh, shooter with a player that has uh, typical weapons, uh, guns and so on. And one of them, the King of Zombies gameplay, is more or less a strategy game of bringing zombies into the world, placing them strategically, spending your resources on them and thinking well about how to use them to defeat the other player. The King of Zombies gameplay has an additional advantage, the fact that it's really, really easy to get into. You can explain it really fast and then any of your friends can come in and fight you. Zombie multiplayer has three game modes. One of them is about capturing flags on the maps. One of them is about the human trying to survive for as long as possible. And the third one, named Killing Box, is about killing as many zombies as possible. From the very beginning, we wanted to create a great variety in the multiplayer. You get to play on closed environments, such as London Underground or a bunker. But uh, you can also play uh, on wide open spaces, uh, such as a stadium or London streets. When you play as King of Zombies on the Wii U gamepad, you level up as you spawn units or uh, kill survivors. With each level up, you get to choose a reward with which you can uh, improve your army or destroy uh, your opponent's defenses. Playing as a survivor with the Pro Controller uh, is incredibly fun too. There are a lot of weapon sets that you can choose from. Gun turrets and landmines are very useful when you're capturing a flag. Ah, point to the survivor. As you kill zombies, you receive gifts from the crowd that might extend your survivability or might just erase more zombies off the level. In the multiplayer, you fight uh, many types of units uh, that you encounter in the single-player campaign. Uh, if it's sending explosive zombies, just keep the distance. If you're uh, facing a speaker, uh, remember to be constantly in motion. If you're dealing with armored units, uh, throw grenades or Molotov cocktails to save ammo. <laughs> Good luck guys, now you know everything about the multiplayer, so let's see how long will you survive. Ah! Ah!